when I lived in my parents' house and I could still read a newspaper regularly, I used to read a comic strip called Zits, which had a teenager named Jeremy and his parents and their various, you know, American teenager-isms. And my dad thought it was very funny because he basically thought I was Jeremy. I, I, I don't think I was exactly a normal teenager. Um, I never had that like, mom, gosh, don't embarrass me. I don't think I ever really went through that phase, really. A little bit, maybe, but not nearly like, not as much as a lot of people do. And anyway, I used to read Zets. And there was this one strip that I remember where I think Jeremy's dad is looking at, Jeremy actually has a mini disc player, which so many of you I'm sure don't even, haven't even heard of a mini disc. Don't worry about it. It's, a, it's, a, it's exactly what you think it is. Um, and he's looking at it and he's like, where are they going to put the artwork? Because of course, his dad is a child of the 70s and he's thinking about like Rush's 2112 on that big vinyl or he's thinking about even like the ACDC back in black that giant vinyl just black with the back in black embossed on the bottom it's a cool album cover and um, CDs just kind of made it a little sillier because now it's inside this clear plastic shell and then when they went to mini discs or they went to online it basically became unimportant and albums that come out now still have artwork of course they they still ship with something and then if you buy it on iTunes you're gonna see it but the reason I bring it up is this this is this is all the CDs that I have in the world um, no that's not true I've got another I've got a box in my closet that my dad gave to me because he he came to the same problem that I'm at right now I've got all these CDs that I've acquired over my 25 years and I'm moving and I don't I don't need them I don't want them they take up too much space they're already on the computer it's just plastic and paper some of them I'm gonna pull out some of them I'm definitely gonna pull out like uh, here let's find them. Oh, oh no <laughs> don't, don't pay any attention okay here, here's a very important album. This is Five Iron Frenzy's first album, Upbeats and Beatdowns. You can, you can tell, you can tell how, how loved it is. Look, first of all, that's broken. It doesn't even stay on there anymore. Um, all, all these teeth are broken. The CD does not actually stay in here. Um, I can tell you that this back, this plastic background is actually a replacement because the first one broke. Um, CD, I don't know how. I'm looking on the screen. You can't really tell how scratched it is, but it, it's got a nice ring around the outside and then it's got like minor scratches the whole way through. This CD I have to save because Five Iron Frenzy is incredibly important. EW. Five Iron Frenzy is incredibly important to me and uh, they're, they're part of my childhood. I have to keep that album and I'll keep the rest of the Five Iron albums. But like, okay, here, like, Good Charlotte, The Chronicles of Life and Death. It's got, I'd say, three decent songs on it. I've got it on the computer, but what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? 